The Honourable Steve Chadwick. Mr Chair, I do want to take a call on Clause 6, and it would be lovely also if the opposition would like to take a call. They seem to have a lot of vent-up um, frustration about the fact that we're paying a lot of concern to this bill clause by clause tonight. But there's two issues that I want to cover off because I have got a bit disturbed at hearing the banter across the House tonight that they don't seem to care about the naming of this park, which is um, actually just preserving the status quo from Parana Park. Let's just call it that in the new bill. And I think my uh, colleague Sue Moroni brought up a very good issue tonight, that the Geographic Board would have been the more appropriate place to put the naming of this park to. And I'm glad to see Peter Sharples look wisely across the house over his glasses at me, uh, because as the Minister of Māori Affairs, I think he'll be concerned now that he's heard that it was the Waikato District Council that just decided uh, that, yes, tonight we're going to enshrine in Clause 6 Parana Park. And I think I've seen the Minister of Māori Affairs go, my golly, here's a lost opportunity. My golly, I think I will get the Geographic Board to have a look at this. My golly, it could have been called Putikitiki. It could have been called Kitty Kitty Roar. Uh, there are many names. And an opportunity has been lost by this government, as they're demonstrating tonight, saying, push this through, push this through. We want to get on to what on the next order in the um, order bill tonight. Well, we don't. We want to give this bill due concern and due consideration. And I'm pleased that I'm receiving very good vibes from the Minister of Māori Affairs that he might just go to the Geographic Board that came up with Whanganui, which we think was a wonderful decision from the Geographic Board. In fact, when I was the Minister of Conservation, I too thought that a lot could be done about naming of several areas in New Zealand and giving them their proper name uh, before Pākehā confiscation. And that would have settled a lot of wrongs, um, unlike this government in the House that is determined that we're going to look at huge SOPs, we're not going to get legal advice, we're not going to put it back to select committee, we're just going to ram through the Marine and Coastal Bill, and that's why we're debating this tonight. I think during the debate tonight we brought up some wonderful points in the House, and I've seen Peter Sharples writing on his Blackberry. Now let's have a look at this Piranha Park. It's called the Hamilton City Council Piranha Park, in brackets, Land Vesting Bill. And I'd like to see the Minister take up that opportunity to just put a referral over to the Geographic Board to say, how the heck can some of these bills just be called a rollover name like the Piranha Park, which is what Clause 6 uh, does vest um, in the council to call, and I think that's a pity. It was called Piranha Park. Piranha Park had its time and place, but I think if this was this very park, Peter Sharples, was on confiscated land. Confiscated land, for goodness sake, that was ultimately freeholded, and that's how it got into George Parr's um, ownership, and he did a very generous and benevolent gift to the city of Waikato. But this causes another um, opportunity to redress a wrong of the past, and I think the naming is enshrined in Clause 6 tonight will cause um, some concern in the future. Tainui will look at it. So this is not necessarily an unconventional uh, and um, controversial bill and I think that's why uh, we want to debate this very vigorously. I just want to mention the other um, in Clause 6 that also talks about the um, recreational reserve, it enshrines the recreational reserve and I think that's been rather charmingly done and I want to just congratulate the Hamilton Beautifying Society if I could Mr Hanari it's nice to say thank you to those that have contributed positively they've done a lot of good voluntary work in Parana Park they built a children's paddling pool and I th I wouldn't, I wouldn't demean them, actually. Um, no, that's what they did, the Hamilton Beautifying Society. And then they built, um, where the stables were, they put a lovely picnic shelter. 
and then a brick fire was built by the Rotary Club of Hamilton, and that was presented to the Hamilton Girl Guides. Bless them.